Right, here's uh, another question. I believe this is the eighth question in our little uh, integration revision series, but it, it's a differential equations question. And, and these ones are usually um, reasonably tough, but they all follow the same method. So if you can crack the method, then you should be okay. In this one, we've got a lot of information about a, a balloon which is being blown up or inflated, and um, the rate of change of uh, the volume with respect to time is given by k over v, where k is positive constant. They've given us the radius of the balloon, and they've told us this was a sphere, so the volume is given by 4 thirds pi r cubed. And we've got to prove that r satisfies the differential equation b over r to the power 5, where b is a constant. So we see here we've got something to do with dr dt, but we've got lots of information we've been given to do with v. So we're going to have to set up some kind of like uh, chain rule here. Um, so we know that dr dt is equal to, well, it's equal to dv by dt multiplied by dr dv. And you can see then that's going to give us, it's like there's a dv on top and on the bottom here, we've got the dr which is on the top of what we want, on the top of one of the um, uh, differentials, and on the other one we've got the dt on the bottom, dv dt. Okay? So we need to know what dv dt is, and we need to know what dv dr is, we need to know what this is upside down, and then we can reverse it. So, um, well I suppose actually we could rearrange, you could rearrange um, to get an equation in R, which would be a little bit complicated, but you could do it, and then you could um, differentiate with respect to V. It's actually easier if you do this. It's actually easier if you say that, well, dV dt, we know from the question, is equal to K over V. And then if we find dV dr, so when we differentiate this with respect to R, we're going to get 4 pi R squared, which actually you should recognize anyway, regardless. This is actually uh, an expression for the surface area of a sphere. But multiply by the power, 3's cancel, 4 pi r, reduce the power, pi r, reduce the power by 1, squared. Okay, so that means that we can flip this one upside down. So to find dr dt, to find dr dt, what we're going to have is, we're going to have k over v multiplied by 1 over our expression for dv dr, which is going to be dr dv, 4 pi r squared. So when we put that together, we get, well, we need an expression for, well, let's put this v in as well, okay? So let's put this expression for v in. So we're going to have that denominator flips at the top, so you're going to have 3k over 4 pi r cubed, and that's times by r dr dv, which is 4 pi r squared. Which, if we put all these bits together, we get 3k on top. On the bottom, we get 16 pi squared, pi times pi, and then we get r to the power 5. Now, that looks very similar to what we want. We want b over r to the power 5. Well, we can rewrite that as b over r to the power 5, because we can say the 3k and the 16 pi squared, they're all numbers, so we can just say where b is equal to 3k over 16 pi squared. Okay, so we've actually proved what we want to do. Perfect. So that's four marks. That was a little bit tricky, but it was just an algebra break and manipulation once we remember the chain rule up here, a bit of algebra. So look at the second one. It says find a general solution to this. So this is the usual thing you have to do with these differential equations. And the method we have in C4 is the separate the variables. So let's separate the variables. So if we rearrange our differential equation here, we get r to the power 5 dr, taking all the r's to the left, and we get b d d dt taking all the other things to the right. And then, once we've separated our variables, we can integrate. So if we integrate here, and integrate here, well, integrating here is easy, we're going to get um, r to the 6 over 6, 
is equal to b t plus our constant of integration. So we can rearrange this and we get um, r to the power of 6 is equal to 6b t plus our constant of integration. Uh, well, it's going to be a different constant of integration, so let's call it uh, c prime because we've actually multiplied it by 6. Okay? So we've got this expression here and um, that's that's the general solution so we don't know what b and we don't know what c is this is the general solution so it was only worth three marks and it was quite straightforward but we need that general solution we need some uh, conditions sometimes they're called boundary conditions sometimes they're called initial conditions so we need some conditions uh, to work out what the c and b are and that would and that will give us the particular solution so let's go on and do that let's look at this one so here we are when t is naught uh, r is 5 so we're told in one instant, one set of conditions we've got is when t is naught, uh, r is 5. And the second set of conditions we're told is when t is 2, r is 6. And we want to find out the radius when t is 4. So we need because we need two sets of conditions because um, in our differential, or the general solution was this, wasn't it? It was r to the 6 is equal to 6bt plus our constant of integration. Uh, let's call it c prime. Okay, so we need uh, to find out two constants, so we need two different sets of initial condi of conditions to put in. One set is going to allow us to find one bit, one other set is going to find, uh, allow us to find the other bit. So, sometimes, actually, while we're here, sometimes the general solution usually have an r equals, or whatever you're finding as your, as your solution, usually have the single variable r equals. In this case, it's not going to be beneficial for us, so we can just leave it as r to the power of 6. Because having a sick root of all of this isn't actually make our life any easier, so we can leave it like that. Sometimes, sometimes you're asked to show to rearrange how this could be r equals. But let's just carry on. Let's use the first set. So using set of conditions one, what do we get? Well, we get five to the power six, which is fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-five, is equal to naught plus c prime. So that implies that c is equal to 15,625. So we can put that. So we've now got r to the power 6 is equal to 6bt plus uh, 15,625. So we're part way through to get our particular solution. We're halfway there. Well now we can use set 2. The conditions set 2. And what were they? When t is 2, r to the power 6. So we get uh, 6 to the power 6 now, rather than 5 to the power 6, we get um, 46,656, I've just done that in my calculator, is equal to 12b, because t is 2, 12b plus 15,625. So we can subtract the 15,625 and divide by 12, and that gives us that b is this. As a fraction in its simplest form, 31,031 over 12. So we can now write our particular so solution out. Now we've got rid of, we won't know what the constants B and C are. Okay, and actually, so this should be C prime. Particular solution is this. Let's put it all back together. Uh, we get R to the 6 is equal to. 31,031 over 12 t plus 15,625. That's our particular solution, okay? Given these conditions exactly for this uh, balloon blowing up. So now that allows us to find out what uh, r is when t is 4. So now we need to find r when t equals 4. So 4 seconds after the start, if it's been inflated. So we get this. Well, we just have to um, put substitute it into our oh, expression here, so and then find the sixth root of it. So we put 31,031 over 12 times by 4 plus 15,625, and then find the sixth root of that, and r is equal to 6.5321787.2 r is equal to 6.53 centimeters 
to three significant figures, just using my calculator for that. So using when the t, substituting t is four. So let's just recap what we did here. We had the general solution, which we found in the previous part of the question, general solution of the equation. We used that general solution. We used one set of conditions to find out what uh, constant c was. We used another set of um, conditions to work out what our constant b was, put that all back together. And here we had our particular solution. Once we've got the particular solution, the only things we've got in this now are variables r and t. When we can find out what uh, r is when t is 4, just done it all on our calculator, and we find out 6.53 centimetres. You might want to go back over this. This is a very common method. Find the general solution first using integration, and then conditions put in in order to find out constants and find the particular solution. Okay.